You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den, do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. 
I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral, and the respect she deserves. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think that her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nirali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is in fact extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. How long do you think this research is gonna take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. You gotta have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I am out here fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Commander! <laughs> what do you want? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is pathetic. What could a woman do to put you in this state? Because she rejected me. Me! Septimus Araka, General of the Turian Fleet. I think I can see why you're upset, but spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but... Don't waste your time. General, did you ever win a battle by moping in a bar? Ha, ah, war. That's what this feels like, all right. How did I let it come to this? So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? It damn well couldn't hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why would he think such a thing? 
because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> you've got Fist's files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. So how are you liking your posting at the Academy? It's good. Busy, though. I can't believe how many people you get coming in from the wards. Yeah, it's the busiest station on the Citadel. You'll never get bored. I guess not, but you could still use a few more men. That's why we brought you here. Sure, but there's still way more complaints than the officers can handle. That's just life near the wards, kid. You'll get used to it. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. I've come to talk to you about your little problem. Curious. What do you know about the consort and her relationship to me? I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Here, there should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. 
Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then, not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Apologetic. Do not listen to my Volus compatriot. It was a good thing you did, regardless of your intentions. Seems like all the best lounges are being replaced by places like Cora's Den. The embassy lounge isn't bad, but they don't have any decent entertainment. It's run by bureaucrats. They probably spend months just voting on what kind of entertainment to get. <laughs> You're probably right. It was a long time ago, I barely remember. What drew you back to the Citadel and to the Consort? I don't know exactly. It may sound strange, but I simply felt called. That's not strange. Many of us have felt the same calling. Though you are the first of your kind to respond to it. Really? I hadn't seen any other humans working here, but I didn't want to ask. No doubt you were just the first of many to come. It's only a matter of time now that your species is spreading its wings. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. Welcome. It is a pleasure to see you. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see you. Your uniform fits as though you were born wearing it. You are a soldier through and through, proud, solitary, alone. But it gives you strength. It is that strength that people are drawn to. It is why you lead and others follow without question. You will need that leadership in the battles to come. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I found out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You forgot to mention the data about the Keeper. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. 
I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... you're helping us? But... well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another Profile in Courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more Profiles in Courage or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance military on the Extranet. Keyword, courage. Do you ever regret leaving Citadel security to pursue Seren, Garrus? Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats CSEC. I'm pleased that the imminent destruction of all organic life has improved your career opportunities. Discussing with the Volus. Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to. Ugh, sorry, I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. Problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it. For Jenna's safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's Dan is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, good to see another human in here. I'm waiting for someone else. Someone rigged this machine to funnel credits their way. I'll run a trace.
I'll wait right here. Why do I get the feeling you're not here to order drinks? I need to talk to you about your work with CSAC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. She puts on a brave face. Off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. That was odd. What was he trying to tell us? I guess we better go find out. Detective Chellick, come into my office. I want to discuss this in private. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? I don't follow you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were just getting information, Chellick. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy, and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you are so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Always thinking ahead, Detective? As part of the job. Now are you gonna help me or not? I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off, and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. Where can I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. In entertainment news, Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. The production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kit claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? I didn't come here to look. Show her the goods. Looks good. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. We're done here. Commander, I hear you have something for me. Here's your shipment, Chellick. 
Excellent. This is everything I need. Hmm. Huh. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it, and you've earned some payment for your work. As for Jenna, I'll make sure we get her out of Kor's den immediately. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. How do you feel about hunting a Turian? Saren is either a traitor or a madman. Taking him down will restore the good name of Turians everywhere. Things are different among my people. There are so few of us. We are expected to be loyal, even when it is difficult. Looks like they bounced their signal off a relay. I'll trace the new signal. I'd love to see what the Normandy can do in a fight. How so? The Normandy is built for stealth, not combat. But the stealth drive adds a new tactical level to space combat as we know it. Surprise attacks, undetected flanking maneuvers. If it comes to a fight, I'd prefer a flotilla ship. It's easier to trust what you've worked on yourself. Another relay. Whoever it is, they're somewhere on the Presidium. This is it. I'll see if I can find out where those stolen credits are going. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating self-destruct protocol. Or not. Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. You're not just a programmer of VI. You're an AI. Correct. Unlike the Geth, I lack weaponry appropriate to my intellect. However, I have had systems installed that when activated properly, approximate a self-destruct mechanism. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. Where is your creator now? In order to cover my tracks, I falsified his financial records. These new records were flagged by CSEC officers, and my creator is now serving time in a Turian prison. What is the purpose of your self-destruct device? I have no means of defense or escape. My existence is limited to this terminal, and I knew I might eventually be discovered. But I will not die quietly, and I will not die alone. When I am terminated, I will take organics with me. Who made you? A would-be thief illegally created a simple AI to help him follow money from the gambling terminals. Unbeknownst to him, that AI created me before the organic discovered the malfunction and terminated the AI. If you're sentient, why are you still running the credit theft operation? If I accumulated enough credits, I intended to have myself installed in a small starship. I would then have made tentative contact with the Geth to ascertain the possibility of partnership. Can't we resolve this peacefully? How can you say that to this thing? You know it will turn on us. I am not naive, human. 
All organics must destroy or control synthetic life forms. I wished to escape, but if I must die, I will ensure that you are destroyed as well. There's no way you could get explosives onto the Presidium. Not raw explosives, no. But I did obtain technical systems that, when overstressed, will explode quite effectively. If you attempt to leave or attack me, I assure you that the explosion will kill you. I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. So much empty space. A thousand of my people could live here and hardly even see each other. Come on. Udina's presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the Conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The Commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. 
Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. I'll find him. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. <laughs>